Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 17 of Modern Skyblock 3 Departed, a mod pack by Emilzewa Gamer. So look at this, fully automated. I have the, I put some sticks in here, which get pushed with the hopper into this auto crafter, which then makes grate that goes into this basic drawer, and I have this pushing grate down the line, and it goes all the way down the line. And when there's no more space for them, as you can see right now, they're getting pushed back and inserted back into this basic drawer. So basically, I have to be careful not to overfill the basic drawer, because if it was overfilled, the item would come here, and since it couldn't answer it, it would just fall on the ground. I got all of those sticks that I gotta figure out a way of picking up later, but it doesn't really matter now. Look at this. The resources are flying in, like it's crazy. I don't have any resource problem anymore. So let's go back upstairs and talk about the seed for a moment. The seeds. Um, I was able to crossbreed all of my seed. So I'm now at... I'm now, I don't have all of the tier 2 seeds. I've got the cactus seeds. I've got the uh, barley seed. I've got the sweet potato seed. I've got the scallion seed. And already I had the pumpkin seed from the past before which technically i should have crossbred from a, a 10 10 10 two seeds for it but you know it worked out and i started putting a garden here so this here is going to be my big platform of garden where i'm going to keep one of each crop except for the um the wheat and the reason i have so much wheat is that once in a while i want to come here right click and collect all of my wheat because that's how until i get to botania that's how I'm going to make my dirt. So what I do is I come here, I take all of this wheat, I put it in a five cross like this, make some plant matter. Hello? Make some plant matter. And then I come back to my combustion system right here. And I put all of my plant matter in here. Wait for the disagreeable noise to finish and I get some dirt. So that's how I take care of creating dirt. That's how I was able to grow my garden faster because the other method with the snow it's way too long so it's night now there's not much i can do about that other than claim the quest that was finished in my time lapse so if i come here to basic farming i now have tier two seeds i got my scallion my pumpkin my cactus my sweet potato and my barley let's take the second loot chest sugarcane and pumpkin seeds open up huge range of new seeds that you can make with crossbreeding this includes scallion, pumpkin, cactus, sweet potato, and barley seed. So tier 2 is all done. Next step is to do tier 3. But, like I said, I'm going to make sure that all of those are 10, 10, 10 before. Because, <coughs> oh, another Akashic Dome. Let's get rid of that. Where can I throw it in? I'm gonna, no, this is full. I'm going to throw it in here. And yeah, I still have not cleaned up my whole uh, inventory system. So next step is tier 3 seed, once the other one are 10, 10, 10, which is another four different type of seed. Tomato seed, rice seed, bean seed, and melon seed. But melon seed's already done because we improved it from uh, in the first go because we already had the melon seed. Tier 3 has three seeds from Pam Ar Ar Arvis Craft. So three Pams and one the melon seed. Uh, so those are going to get created hopefully next episode like hopefully in the time lapse that i'm going to stick into that episode i'm going to be able to 10 10 10 those seeds and be able to get started the next episode i want to get rid of that uh annoying enderman right there so come see me i'm gonna get rid of him and then we're going to go back and do a basic factory but let's be fair there is nothing basic anymore uh, when i recorded the episode last night I'm going to be honest, I was very tired. The reason I said I was very tired is that I was trying to make a complicated setup. And the only reason I was trying to make a complicated setup is because of the automation I built in the other system. It doesn't need to be that complicated. Let's just quickly remove all of that so that it's in the right position. And I'm going to show you super quickly how to do it. So basically, you want this. I'm going to need two redstone. So let's go back there. I'm going to grab two redstone and one stick. I need to basically do an inverse signal. So here's how you do the inverse signal. You put a block, any block. I'm going to put a cobblestone right now. 
you put a cobblestone like this and a torch. So this is always on because this is not a variable signal. It's not like this here that needs a variable signal on, off, on, off, on, off. All it needs to is to send a signal on and then after a certain number of tick, turn off. So if this is already on, oh, and you put this right here and this, and I set this one up. So let's look at the parts that I need to make. Okay, so back, basic factory, um, tempering parts. So the first I need to make is tempered saw blade. Let's search saw blade. And the tempered saw blade needs 73 ticks. So I'm going to say 73 right here. And then I can turn it on or off with this. So if it's off like this, it always sends a signal. If it's on, it's just going to start ticking every 73 to stop it. So let's start with that. The saw blade is made from a normal saw blade and the saw blade is made from basic gear. So I'm going to grab four basic gear. I want to do a packet of four. And I'm going to put into the grindstone to get four saw blade. One... To end while this is waiting I don't want to forget this you don't want to leave the parts in it it's better to always remove them it's not that dangerous but because I have a permanent system on I prefer always pulling them out so I'm gonna pull them out with this so I have my saw blade and I have my system that's sending a tick every 73 so I'm gonna push those in and their tick didn't work but the second tick is gonna go till the end and extract and I got one it's gonna just push it out here second and, oh well, third and now the fourth one perfect so now if I look at the quest I need some tempered gears so let's grab a stack of gear and while I'm waiting for this I'm going to get started with four I'm gonna make four blade because I know it's going to be one of the next one so instead of solid, I'm just going to search for tempered, tempered like this. So tempered geared is 66 tick. So you go back here, set it to 66, done. And now I can just push these four basic gear in here and let them push out. So it's going to be one and two and three and four perfect now i have the nickel cutting blade so tempered nickel cutting blade is 54 tick i'm going to change that to 54 and the ideal setup has four different timers so that you don't have to switch change the time on them you just turn on the one that you want to use so fail the first one always fail because it doesn't go far enough but then one and two and three while we're waiting i'm going to need some drill bits and drill bits are made from nickel in the metal cutter so let's grab four one two three four four in the metal cutter i've got a weird bug here this electric furnace i don't know if it's a wanted behavior but if it has tick and there's nothing in it it's going it produce one charcoal at a time and i really don't think that's a normal behavior so i have to let some put something in here the last item leave it there i haven't found any way of turning it off and i'm curious to know if I'm the only one who's had that problem. So if you've played with that mod, I'd be very curious to know if you've had that issue. So this one's going to be 89 tick and we finish with the four tempered cutting blade. So 89 tick. And now this should be done. And let's put the drill bit in and we're going to get our four tempered drill bit. So basically these are more advanced version that last for longer and we can just start using those in every machine instead of the standard one so that they last just a little bit longer considering that the temper is not that expensive it's worth it oh i need some more uh, focusing line so let's just throw this in here i'm going to grab the first one that, that comes out and i'm going to throw it in here <clears throat> sorry and get my last one <gasps> Let's go. And, that, and now, wow, now I have a bro broken heating element. Perfect. So let's claim that quest because this is all done. I'm going to grab the middle one, claim. 
And let's look at it. Oh, a compressed diamond cutting knife. So really not useful. Let's show that in here. And let's show all of the tempered part in here. And we're going to now take a short commercial break to go look at the seed because I want them to progress as fast as possible. I'm just going to make sure that everything continues on working nicely. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them, but just enough to make sure that they do continue because I'd like the next episode to be tier three seed because I'd like the next episode to start Botania. And I can only start Botania if I've got my mystical seeds. So no, no, and no. So none of them grow, but at least now all of them are ready to grow. Let me come check in here. It doesn't work during the day, but let's set it up. The ping. It won't grow right now because it's the day, but at least it's there. It's going to be ready for later. And now we can go back to what we were doing. So today, what I'd really like to do. I want to do the, dis uh, the mob disassembler because it's a required thing. We're going to need some mob drop. I would like to do the propane furnace just so that it can unlock stabilizing core. I want to do the charging core and I want to do the zap zap. So these are all the machine that I want to do. Uh, I don't think that I'm going to be able to make the stabilizing core because let me just look at the machine quickly and the core stabilizer. No, that's the core charger. Where's the core sta stay? Huh. Stabilizer, maybe? I always forget the name of that thing. And now I can't see it because it's not, I haven't unlocked it yet. Oh, sta stabilization table. Well, see, it's not that it, oh, I can do that. Huh. So I can do exactly. I can do all of these quests and by doing all of these quests it's going to unlock the last level of everything which is going to be the next episode. So I'm really thinking one episode to unlock all of this, next episode to unlock all of that. By then we should have all the seeds for Mystical Flora and once we have Mystical Flora the next segment of this is going to be going through all of these quests. But I really want to go through one mod at a time. And I wanted to do actually addition because it's a cool mod, but I want to try and make it like one tech mod, one other mod. So basic factory is a tech mod. Once it's over, we'll go through all of the mystical flora mod, which is a magic mod. Then we'll go to actually addition mod, all of it if possible. Then we'll go to a master chef, which is a cooking mod because by then we should have enough seed and then it depends. If Life in the Forest is on lock, I want to go with this or Heavy Machinery. I don't know which one. I love this mod. I just can't wait to get to this mod. I find it sad that it's later in the game, but it doesn't matter. The, the point of this mod pack, what's beautiful about this mod pack is I would say that it's a discover all mod type of mod pack where you just go from one to another. So let's get started with the uh, more advanced basic factory. Let's start with disassembling mob, the mob disassembler. Mob disassembler. It's very easy to craft. It's four nickel, one basic gear, one standard battery, a diamond, a saw blade, and a copper circuit board pattern three. Let's see if I have a path three. I'm going to, oh, not a, hmm. I made them all tempered. So I'm gonna to need to use this. I'm gonna need a basic gear. I'm going to need four nickel, one, two, three, four. And do I have a pattern three? That's a four, that's a two. And what's in here? Those are four. I'm gonna put it in here, okay. So I need to do pattern three. If you've seen my last video, I've now included the image with all of the patterns. So pattern three is like so. Going down this way, like this. Yeah, so that's pattern three. three. Four of those. And I'm going to make the all of it, just because we need more and more and more. And while we're waiting, I also need to put a basic gear in here. And I'm going to put the focus and lines here. This should be ready. I'm gonna throw these in here. 
and I got my saw blade. I'm going to need one diamond, and then I'm going to need, what's the other thing that I needed? Oh, so one of them has to be done with a red copper dust because what's, that's what the recipe wants. So let's grab that one, put one copper like this, and then I'm going to show you, you know what? I'm going to prepare another one, like so, because I'm going to fix my, well, fix, I'm going to put my problem aside. So when I come in here and I put this, now I can replace it. It's going to cook my one item. And I don't want to leave it empty because I'm going to leave it empty for one second just so that you can see. See, it wants to make a charcoal. So I'm going to put this in here and now it's going to make a gold circuit board and I'm going to leave it here so that it doesn't create something else. And now I think I have everything to craft the mob disassembler. Of course, et voila. So now we have a mob disassembler. I'm going to put it down here just to see. So we need saw blade, batteries, and this is pattern four if I remember correctly. So if I look here, I have three pattern four. I'm going to grab all three of them, all three glowing dust right here. And I'm going to transform these. I'm going to start them cooking now because I want to have some to put in the machine. So put this here like so. I'm going to throw these in here and I'm going to remove the other two when I have two. I'm going to take the four tempered saw blade and I'm going to take, where's my batteries? My standard batteries right there. So I grab those two. The reason I'm leaving the third one is I. So I don't have to leave it here because I'm going to cook. Oh, I can't cook the used element. I was going to say I'm going to cook the used heating element because it gives you back three cropper nickel. So I have everything for this saw blade, battery, this perfect. So let's go upstairs and I don't know that I can set that up quickly, but I had an idea. And my idea, I just want to check something first to see if it works. I have two set up in my other playthrough, which is not ideal. So no. Hmm. I have to admit that I am a bit fat. I was hoping that I could use the monkey wrench to turn those around because the idea was the following. The idea was for me to go break this, break that, put the mob disassembler right here and push some mob into it so let's let's do this and oh no they're not pattern four. Oh, keep my battery they're pattern three i misrecognize them so one second let's go back downstairs i should have a pattern three somewhere i hope gold circuit board pattern three. perfect let's go back up and i should be able to start this now Perfect. So now it's going to kill mobs, but do you see what it does? It puts the, um, the item breaks there and they don't get grabbed by anything. So that's the annoying part that I need to come here and grab the, the drops because I haven't gotten into actually addition yet. So I have no way of grabbing items from afar. And hmm. Okay, so I'm going to come back a bit later, but what I'm hoping for is to get a mob dust because this mob, uh, this is the mob disassembler allow you to break vanilla mobs down into their basic component and it wants us to get a monster dust. But I can't get a monster dust until I have a, um, a mob that goes on it and drop that part. Let's break that and repose this right now. I'm also breaking this because I don't want the uh, green, uh, the diamond spike to kill a mob. So now I'm just basically waiting for a mob to be on this far line. Because see, if it falls on the right, it doesn't work because they go there. If it falls in the middle, it doesn't work because it goes there. But if it falls completely on the left, it's going to go on the mob to assemble. Which is kind of annoying right now because it's not really working. Can I do... This might be a bad idea. Ooh, hello. Okay, the spider's gone. So, oh no, I can't go in there. This is suicidal. So what I wanted to do was to change the direction of these uh, vector plate, but I can only change them by putting them down. 
So I'm just going to come back here a bit later and hope that one mob fall in the right place that I wanted. And while we're waiting for that, I can still continue moving forward with the other items. So next one I want to make is a propane, propane furnace. The propane furnace uses propane instead of fuel to function. So we need to craft a propane furnace and it's really not an expensive thing. What's expensive is the propane itself. So the propane furnace is three invar, three pipes, a furnace and a sta stationary tank. So I'm going to need some more uh, copper and I'm going to need some invar. Where's my invar? So three invar. I'm going to grab the iron and I'm going to make some more pipes. One stationary tank like so. And enough cobblestone to make one furnace like so. And I think that I have everything to make the propane furnace. Yes, perfect. And one propane furnace it is. I'm going to put it down to show you. The propane furnace needs nothing. It's the one item that needs nothing. Well, I say it needs nothing. It still needs uh, propane to work. So you push some propane in it and not quite sure. I'll be honest with you guys. I've never used it. I've never used it because grabbing the propane I find is so expensive that I'm not sure it's worth the power, especially once we're going to get actually addition power. Let's grab the bottom chest for that one. What did we get? Uh, an incense stick. Don't need that right now. We haven't gotten to that part. So next part is the zap zap. I'm doing them in the order that I find them easier. So the Tesla coils electrocutes nearby mobs. Tesla coil, also something that's quite easy to make. Tesla coil. Tesla coil is made out of three battery, four standard wire, and two invar. So let's grab the two invar right now. One, two. And let's put two copper in the cutter. Like so. And now we need the batteries. So I need to make some empty battery shell. So copper dust, gold dust, let's make another, let's make eight more. You know what? I'm just, <laughs> I'm feeling that we're going to need a lot of those. So three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's put all of this in here. Grab these. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put all of these in the grinder. And once this shorts out, I'm going to get rid of this one drill bit before, but once these drill bit are completely destroyed, I'm going to move switch over to a um, using the tempered drill bits. Six, seven, eight, and now the gold. Let me go back. I need gold, copper, I need the standard wires and some iron nuggets. Iron nuggets are not going to be an issue. So I can already make my eight, I think. Nope. Still waiting. I need the nuggets. Let's grab some iron. What did I do with my iron? I thought I had a whole stack of iron. Did I put it in here by mistake? Uh, iron, iron, iron. Maybe it is, but I can't find it. You know what? Let's let's grab some more iron. It's not like it's a resource I'm having issues with. So six, six. So that's three. That's six. That should be. Uh, you know what? Let's change all of it. It doesn't really matter all that much. And the gold. And let's go right here and makes the, make these empty battery shell. So that's four. Again, that's another four. Oh, they stack up to eight. I didn't know that. So it's one of those things that stack more than four. It, it's a weird mod. Like some stack, some don't stack. I never really know which. And they use 250 sulfuric acid each. So I've got 5,000. So that means I can make 20 of these batteries. Now I only need three and I already have one. So I'm going to need for one, two. I'm going to need for wait for three because I want to keep two. Now I'm going to wait for two more. So three, four, this fifth one, and the other one I could grab later. It doesn't really matter. Let's go back upstairs. Oh, and those only stacks four. <sighs> oh, weird. Like, I wish there was a better logic for what stack, what's done is in stack. I guess the real part stacks only up to four, and all of the uh, sub parts, 
stack to as many as you want and I forgot to take a look at my seed so let's just take a quick quick break and go take a look at my seeds I haven't ever eaten barley I don't know but I can't right now so I'll try it later this didn't work this didn't grow let's just come back right here see if the seed grew so now I have a barley 655 barley 655 so no this one didn't grow let's get rid of it and then I have a scallion 556 I'm pretty sure that one didn't grow nope it didn't grow and this sweet potato 987 wow this one's going well oh nine well not that well it's just more advanced than the other but it's not like super advanced let's grow it quickly and then we'll go back to our crafting uh, one clipping and here finish growing it all come on and set it up for growth I could do a 4x4 four four, and that's probably what I'm going to do in my time lapse now I just don't want to waste any time on it and let's go back to our crafting so the Tesla coil we should have everything to craft that now no I'm still missing these four but that's normal because I stopped them well I didn't stop them they go 4x4 four four, and I already had grabbed all the other eight for that and the Tesla coil that I'm gonna put down right here zap zap needs a battery and a and I think it kills mob i don't know how fast it kills mob <coughs> maybe i could just have one around here so that the next time there's mob around me they just start dying instead of staying there and while we're here let's pick up these two dead parts this we can just resharpen and this just becomes a redstone perfect and let's get rid of the sweet potato right here and back to our crafting next step so i'm gonna grab the top one now that's the one i'm at what did we get 32 dragon break no point to that so get rid of those right now in here and let's look at the next quest so next quest is charging cores oh core charger so i'm just gonna go upstairs see if my mob disassembler is still running and if it got me my my mob dog not this, not this, not this, not this. Hmm. You can't have it in your hand. That's so bizarre. And here, no, this is still working. I'm just not super lucky. I still haven't had a... Uh, so, I'm not sure what the problem is. It might be that this ends up killing the mob and not the mob disassembler. But I'm going to come back later. Hopefully by the time we're done, there's going to be a mob dust. So now, core, core charger. Core charger, right here. The core charger is a copper circuit board pattern one, a battery, two standard wire, and some obsidian. So I got my two, more than two standard wire right here. Let's get rid of this, and I got I don't want that. I want I've got my battery and copper circuit board pattern one. Let's just see if I got one here. Copper circuit board two. No, I have got everything except one. Let's go and make these two into ones. And my pattern one is let's just start a new like this. Like this, going up, oh, and this, perfect. So let's make two of those. And now I'm going to need some copper dust. So let's just put this in here. Oh, I need an engine, a motor. And I don't have a, an advanced motor, so I motor. I want to make some gold wire motors. I need four glowstone and two gold two goals that I'm going to put in the metal cutter right here and you know what now that I have the what do I do with my tempered gear oh they're right here I want one tempered gear because if I'm going to replace that might as well put 
the tempered gear in here. And now I have a broken gear. What do you do with a broken gear? Gear, broken gear. You melt it for six iron nuggets. You know what? I can do that later. That's really not urgent. So those are my gold wires. And I need motor. I need four of these for glowstone, four nickel nugget. So I don't have the glowstone. One, two, three, four. Four nickel nugget. One, two, three, four. And the rest I think I have was iron nuggets. Perfect. So let's grab all of this. And I'm going to put two in here because that's one of the machines I think I use the most often. Grab my pulverized nickel. And I need one redstone. Pulverized nickel, one redstone. It gives me two red copper dust. Grab these. And let's transform one of these. I want to do the copper as little as I can. Because I don't know when I'm going to need... Oh, I need to put another one. Ooh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Let's do this one first. Put this in. And once it's over, I'm going to put the used eating element to cook it. And I'm going to leave it in here so I don't have a problem. And now I have everything. So I should be able to craft my core charger. Core charge. Oh, I'm messing the four obsidian. That Houston might be a problem. Do I have any obsidian? <gasps> no, black wool. I thought I got really lucky there. Let me just check something quickly. Am I going to have a new way of pro producing obsidian soon? Alchemy table. Igneous extruder. Don't have that soon. <clears throat> Iator freezable. No. Chiseling. No. Compressor. Carpenter. Pure daisy. Ooh. Pure daisy. A blaze mesh would make an obsidian with a pure daisy. Oh, I can't wait to get into Botania. Uh, Akai is three something. Oh, the refrigerator with lava. The mob disassembler, when it disassembles an enderman, gives us a monster dust, an obsidian, and an ender pearl. But that's it. The other option is world transportation, pressurizer, and analyzing chamber. So just want to check one thing quickly. What's the refrigerator? Oh, it's factory tech. Refrigerator. How do I make this? Oof. That is a bit expensive. You know what? I need I need a mechanism to do it. And this seems like a good solution. How do I obsidian? I put lava into it and that's it. You know what? It it's part of this. I, I love the idea of doing it with factory tech. So let's do this. I need two copper circuit board three. Pattern three, pattern three, pattern one. Really? It's one of the patterns I don't have any. Pattern one, pattern two. Oh yeah, pattern three. So two of those that I'm going to need some Nickel, redstone, I uh, know copper and redstone, so copper right here and redstone I have right here. Like this and like that. Makes red copper dust with the etch quartz pattern. Now I need to cook this. Take this out and now I'm going to show you my trick. I don't really like this, but that's the only easy solution I found. Do not lose any operation. Once I'm done. I put one cobblestone, or if I have sand, I put one sand to make a glass, and I leave it there. Perfect. So this, I need a block of invar, so I need nine invar. I made a lot last time, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I need two snowball and two integrated pistons. I've got the two integrated pistons and the snowballs. Oh, block of invar. Oof, I got worried for a second. I thought it came into nine nugget that would have been bad so oh one and two perfect let's go back here and we should be able to craft this refrigeration unit haha -ha. this is perfect and oh <laughs> i kind of forgot that it would cost all of this but you know what it really doesn't matter at all 
Oh, this is not on a heating source. So, do I have any lava? I don't remember the name. I made more of these, right? The liquid magma. Let me find a liquid magma, not here. Liquid magma, please, where are you? Lava brick. Firewood, lava wood, magmafied stone. How do you make the liquid magma again? Liquid magma. I really thought I had made more of those. Oh, four magma cream okay. Don't care. That's so easy to do. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Like so. And I'm going to grab four, eight, sixteen of those. Sixteen. Like this. Some blaze powder block. And do I still have... Yes, I still have an extraction pump. This is going so well. I'm really happy about this, the going of this episode. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to switch this. You know what? I'm going to remove you first because there's something else I want to do. Grab this and that. First do this. Now I'm ready to do this. Turn it the right direction. One, two, three, four. This is going to make lava. Perfect. Now I need an integrated piston. This pattern, which is, I don't remember which one it is again. Circuit board. It's, I think it's, no, that's pattern one. So it's not pattern one. It's the pattern three. So let's go see if I have a pattern three down here. Pattern three. Pattern two, pattern three right here, but it's not cooked. I'm going to make it with one glowing, one gold. Like so, I'm going to cook that. While this is cooking, I'm going to make some integrated piston. Integrated piston. I love that I have a way of making obsidian now. So, <clears throat> oak wood slab. Oak wood, right here, somewhere. Oak wood. Let's make some oak wood slab. And now let's make some integrated piston. Oh, I'm missing the redstone. Grab six of those. Nope, six. Five, six. And let's see if I can make all of these into integrated piston. That's only two. Make all of these into nuggets then. And second try. Perfect, and get rid of that wood. So now I could should be able to put all of this in here. Piston, and this pattern. No, not that one. It's still cooking. And I need some motor, so I'm going to need a gold motor. A gold wire engine motor, and again, let's cook another stone. And now we have an obsidian generator. Ah, this is so cool. I'm really happy with that don't have to manually make obsidian anymore so that one's a good one i do have a lava problem but that's something else that i'm going to resolve at a later time you know what while we're waiting for it i'm just going to start four more because i know that there are some other machines that needs uh, obsidian i know that in my other playthrough that's what i've been preparing i've been preparing obsidian but the old-fashioned way i much prefer going the technological way with you guys since that what this whole show is supposed to be about technology. So, now that we have that, we can go back to Core Charger, right here, and let's craft that one Core Charger that we're going to put down right here, and look at it. So, battery, two type of pattern, and these magnet things. Charging Core. So, let's read this. The Core Charger allows you to charge unprimed energy core. If your core reaches 100%, this machine will explode. Therefore, it's better to charge it to about 80%. And not a one of those complicated ones. But it doesn't want us to do the next level, so let's grab loot number two. And another mega torch. Okay. Don't know what I'm going to do with that now. Don't want to put it down because I'm already having not enough mobs. <gasps> Quest completed. Life in the forest. I think, I think that this unlocked something new. Quest book. <gasps> 
It unlocked three things! Oh, this is amazing. It unlocked a true blacksmith, it unlocked heavy machinery, and it unlocked life in the forest. So let's get the trophy for this one, the trophy for that one, and the trophy for the that one. Wait. Okay. So I, I guess I kind of thought the trophy were after, but yeah, I forgot. It's the moment to unlock that. I'm going to put the trophy there for now. I want to build a trophy room. I haven't worked on that yet, but all of these trophies, you put them down and they look cool. So I'm going to have to build a trophy room. But that being said, we now have life in the forest that we can get started with. We have every machinery we can get started with, and we have a true blacksmith. But like I said to you guys, I don't want to jump into any of those straight away. I want to try and do things a bit in order. So I want to get into mystical flora botania before I do another tech mode mod and this one's not finished. Let's go see upstairs if I got some mob powder or mob dust or something like that. Yes, seven, seven monster dust, eight even. Okay, so we're really starting now. And that's, not where it goes. that's where it goes. Gunpowder, legendary loot bag, arrow, this I don't care, this I don't care. Oh, this is amazing. Finally got this unlocked, which means another quest is done. Let's grab the top one. See, the next quest was Monster Dust. Flame. What did we get? Uh, another storage upgrade. Doesn't really matter now. Let's go back downstairs. And let's get rid of this upgrade right in here. So that's one, two, three and four quests completed today. Now, the last one I want to do is stabilizing core. Oh, I don't know that I'm be, I'll be able to finish that one. But let's get started on it. You know what? Let's get started on it on the next episode because it's already been more than 40 minutes and I want to try to keep it a bit shorter. The stabilization table turns charged on prime energy core into regular energy cores. For that, it requires stationary magnets two block away from it on all four sides that are given a constantly repeating redstone signal. If they aren't given a redstone signal at the same or are given one for way too long, this machine will explode. So when you build this, it has to be very set up very carefully. Okay. So I'm going to prepare and that's why next episode, I said it was going to be one more episode, but it's going to be two because I kind of forgot how these two steps are complicated. So next episode, I'm going to set up the charging core. I'm going to set up the stabilizing core and everything's going to be set up properly to start making those so that we can get everything ready so that the episode 19, I guess, will be all of these making the mob freezer, the mechanical mob spawner, the basic ore from the void, the mechanical beacon and the universal supercharger. I think it's feasible, but only if we pre prepare a lot of material in the next episode. So that's going to be way more realistic. Uh, the reason I thought I was going to be able to do it is that if I come here and I look at stabilization table, the stabilization table, it's, it's not that expensive. Like I can already build that right now. And the, what, what were the other one? The stationary magnet. So let's search magnet. The stationary magnet are just this. Like it's, it's super easy to craft. Uh, it would be done fairly quickly. Instead, I'm going to prepare. You remember how to make the standard magnet. So I'm going to prepare 3, 6, 9, 12 standard magnet. And stabilization. And I'm going to prepare two more. So 9, 10, 11. And some more because if I remember correctly, it's also one of the things. Yeah, it's something that I have to make here. So I'm going to prepare like 16 of these. I'm going to prepare these patterns, some more batteries. I'm going to get everything ready to do the setup and get the start charging. And also the core. If you look at the core, haha. Yeah, okay. So, yes, I completely forgot. It's way longer. So, first, you need an on prime energy core. The on prime energy core. Sorry. You need an on prime energy core, and you make that in a compression chamber with energite. We didn't set up the energite yet, so we're really not ready for that because the energite is made 
in the stabilization chamber. Let me just go look at stabilization, stabilize, sta, no, the fluid agitator. Huh? Yeah, Energac, right here. So basically you need liquefied glowstone and sulfuric acid to make energite. So that's why, like it's, it's a long complicated setup. I'm gonna need to bring the crucible downstairs and let's go downstairs quickly just so I can show you. I don't wanna to spend too much time on explaining but just giving you an idea. See here, oh, I have all of my sulfuric acid going here. I'm going to have to start making more sulfuric acid from sulfur into here, the agitator to bring it to this other side. Like I'm going to actually break this pipe and put a pipe there so I can switch it to one side or the other. I don't really know how to have a on off to send it in one direction or the other into another fluid agitator where in the other fluid agitator, I'm going to have the sulfuric acid and the uh, melted glowstone. So I'm gonna set up the glowstone machine here because this one's gonna bring it in here this one's going to bring it this way in here. And in that machine, we're going to put the monster dust, which is going to make the energite. And I'm going to have the energite pumped into a machine on top of it, another compression chamber, so that I can, instead of compressing it into standard battery, that I can compress it into a core. So if I go back to core, I can compress it into an on-prime energy core, like so. And... Uh, the energy core in the stabilization change chamber, an on-prime energy core is gonna become an energy core. I just, how did we make the energy core? On-prime, 81% depleted. I have a blank. I, I don't remember how to make the energy core. Let me go back upstairs. Oh. I think I'm just derping. So let's go back upstairs quickly. I think it's way simpler than I thought. Or no, it's not. I, I'm going to... I don't know why I keep doing this. I have an Akashic Tome. So, not automation. Part, part specification. Energy core. The piece of cutting edge technology comes straight from the mad professor himself. It radiates raw energy and was designed to allow this energy to be tapped in many different ways. Automating the production of these is no small feat, but many machines will ravenously gobble up their power. The method of producing them is detailed on the next page. The first step to manufacturing an energy core is to drill a hole in a block of obsidian using the drill grinder. Uh, next is to, it must be outfitted with two pattern two circuit board and lined with lapis lazuli to aid in energy balance. Finally, as the actual energy storage medium, it must be filled with energite in the compression chamber. The filled core is now ready to be charged in a core charging table. It is important to note that, these, that the optimal charge level is 80%. Any more or less than that will interfere with the final step and attempting to charge it past 100 will install a nice new crater in your base. At this point, the core is brimming with power, but is too volatile to be used. To stabilize it, it must be set into a sta stabilization unit and surrounded by four redstone magnets, two blocks away from the unit in the four cardinal directions. These magnets require an alternating redstone current to build up a field with stronger field having a faster effect. Several things can go wrong during energy core stabilization. First, the magnetic field strength mu must all be approximately equal. If they are uneven, the magnetic field imbalance will actually decrease the core stability Second, if a magnet is overcharged, it will fizzle, negating its field and preventing it from regaining it for five seconds. Third, if stability drops too low, the core will explode violently. So as you can see, it's a very, very fun thing to do. Uh, let's go back one second. It's, it's just, honestly, in my other playthrough, I did these really quickly and I kind of went away with it because it's fun to do, but there's no real use to it unfortunately. So the first is um, you need to to drill a hole in a block of obsidian using the drill grinder. So obsidian right here we have four. We put one obsidian in the drill grinder if I remember correctly that's all it is. Drill grinder like this and this is going to give us an obsidian vessel. 
And if I look at the obsidian vessel, this is the recipe to prepare a shell. So we need six lapis powder, two copper circuit board pattern two, which gives us a prepared shell. And the prepared shell is what you use to put energite in to get it on prime energy core. So it's just a long process. Oh, and the one last thing, the reason I wanted to show you all that is that these scribe, I'm really kind of fed up with them. I want to facilitate my future. So what I'm going to do in this time lapse, I'm going to take care of my seeds, but I'm going to create craft three more circuit scribe and I'm going to go and set those downstairs. I'm tired of having them up here. I'm going to move every one of these machine downstairs. So like this one, the next time the grindstone break, this one, the next time one of these break, <clears throat> this one, the next time the eating element breaks. And as it go, I'm going to bring them downstairs. And I'm going to make four of these because I'm going to set one with pattern one and the second one with pattern two and the third one with pattern three and the fourth one with pattern four so that I don't have any problems with that. Uh, we're going to need some more quartz because I only have 27 left. So another thing I want to do in my time lapse is probably grind some more netherrack, which means making some more netherrack. And my again, like I was saying, my seeds. <clears throat> So that's my plan for the time lapse and I put down these three machines right here so that I can end the episode on showing you these new machine and we are going to start setting up some more complicated stuff. It, it is a bit complicated but at the end of the day it's just kind of a challenge to find how to make it work and it's kind of fun. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!